Andreas Georgiou here at CW Unplug. The event has just wrapped up at the BT Studios and I'm joined by the man which many people on Twitter, many people on the internet are talking should possibly be the new Cage Warriors featherweight champion, Julian Arosa. Um, you know, unanimous decision for Paddy Pimblett there on the judges' scorecard. How do you feel that one should have gone? Uh, you know, uh, just thinking about how the fight went, um, I just can't understand how somebody could, you know, almost knock somebody out multiple times in a fight and uh, and still lose, you know, so many rounds. You know, one of the judges gave him 49, so it gave him four out of the five rounds. It's like I almost knocked him out three round, three different rounds, so how do you give him every single one of those rounds? Um, it was just, it's difficult, but, you know, sometimes it's, you know, it's a thought that's been in the back of my mind when I'm fighting someone in their hometown. So it's just, it is what it is, and uh, next time i got to finish him. I mean, it's not his hometown here, but you would well, be you'd yeah. be mistaken for believing that it was yeah, like yeah. an eighty percent scouse crowd in yeah. the in the BT studios. But it was obviously his home turf, the home yeah, yeah, home yeah. country of England. But listen, forty nine, forty six, that, that judges' scorecard there. I mean, it, it's hard to see how um, you know that actually came to fruition yeah. because even though Paddy did do well in some rounds and he yeah. you know, he he did hold yeah, his own, yeah, he did, yeah. but oh, especially that one round where you hit that flying knee, you know, that yeah. could possibly have been a 10-8 in some cases. Yeah, that's, and that's exactly how I feel, you know. Paddy definitely had his positions on the ground, um, and I knew that coming in. I knew he's a good grappler, and not necessarily his grappling skills. It has to do with his flexibility. He's so flexible, and his ability to get these weird passes that normally people don't get, us long yeah. guys that can do it. And, and I know because I'm not that flexible. I can get away with some of the stuff he gets away with, but he gets away with even more because of how flexible he is. Yeah. And, and he's got an amazing uh, ground game. He's like a wet blanket. So, you know, I just had to pick my spots. And when he got me to the ground, I had to figure my way out of those things. And if it was a short short time, I'd just, you know, let him lay on me and then we'll just go to another round and figure it out. And, uh, you know, but, you know, he laid on me and he had my back for a little bit, but I almost knocked him out. So it's like, you know, when you trade the two, it's like I'd rather have someone have a little bit of position on me than to almost get knocked out and almost get finished because, you know, there was no time in that fight where he was almost going to finish me. I mean, he had my back, but we all know how to defend that stuff. You know, I've been training for probably, you know, even longer than Patty has. And yeah. so I know my position on the ground as well. And I'm not trying to take anything away from him because he's a great fighter. But, uh, you know, it's just difficult to deal with a decision like that. But I fought my heart out and I gave everything I had. I'm not d disappointed with my... Uh, my approach to the fight, or my, uh, or how I, you know, how I perform, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah, I mean, you talk about his wrestling and his grappling. It is really good. It's his bread and butter. And when he did initiate that, and he, and the way he does it is so good. Yeah. Where he pushes pushes you against the cage, you know, it really is. That is when he had his successful moments yeah. in this fight. But we have to talk about the way. Um, to me, watching it, it looked like you were trying to do counter striking a yeah. lot tonight. You wanted him to to move forward so you could lean back with your strikes. Was that the main part of the game plan? Because it did seem like like that was, you know, a really important thing for you. Yeah, exactly. You know, coming into this fight, I really don't have many game plans when I fight people because you don't want a game plan to fall out and not have something backed up. So I always just have like just I always just want to fight, you know, regardless of what it is. But watching his fights, he's very aggressive with the wrestling, with the grappling, even with the striking. He's not the best striker, but he's very aggressive. So you know, I figured I have a really elusive style. So. Um, usually I'm on my toes and I let them come in a little harder and then I hit the counter strikes like you were saying and you know then once I start getting them more tired and tired then I can be put a little bit more pressure like when I landed that flying knee or landed a couple heavier strikes while I was putting more pressure on him was when he was tired yeah. I didn't want to put too much pressure in the beginning because he is quick on the double leg he's quick on the single leg yeah. and he's aggressive so you know I don't want to give him those takedowns easily I wanted him to have to work for those and you know next time I just got to defend that takedown a little bit earlier in some of the cases, I st I'm a little too stand up, straight standing up, and that's easier for people to get on your hips. So uh, he's tricky, though. You know, don't get me wrong, but uh, you know, next time it's going to be a little bit more defense on those takedowns. Well, we'll talk about next time in, in a few minutes, there. But the teep kick, time and yeah. time and time again. That's how you kept him away. Because what he yeah. does, he likes to push forward. And he gets exactly. you against the cage, gets the takedown. Yeah. I mean he seemed like he threw up some blood you know after the fight yeah. that looked like it was massively in effect due to those teep kicks yeah. keep you know continuously landing yeah oh yeah um that's i mean if you've watched me uh, even on ultimate fighter and stuff uh, yeah. the teep kick is what i love you know being long and lanky like we are um your legs are longer than your arms so like if you can catch someone with a jab you can catch them with that teep kick even further out so uh i don't have the most power behind my teep kicks but once they start adding up it starts to hurt them, and like you said, he was puking up blood. I don't know if that had to do with being tired, or whatever. Excuse me, or whatever it was. But those teep kicks, yeah, I, I must have landed at least 
20 or 30 of those in, you know, back leg, front leg, they just get more and more annoying. Yeah. And, uh, and it's not necessarily the power that I'm putting in, he's a little bit aggressive. So when he's coming in and I'm kicking at the same time, that puts a little more power behind him. And uh, yeah, it definitely, uh, it definitely did the job tonight by keeping him away, keeping him away and definitely hurt him. So, uh, you know, obviously that's one of my weapons that I love to use. Were you left to root not going for the finish in rounds four and five because you seemed like you were kind of just happy there to slowly pick him off? It, you know, it seemed like maybe if you went for that, we might have been seeing a different result at the end. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know necessarily if if we would have seen a different result in the in a decision, but you know, it may, getting the finish for sure. Um, uh, it's just it's a fine line of being able to um, uh, conserve your energy and also try to find that finish. Um, you know, it's 25 minutes for anybody is a tough time. So uh, in the fourth and fifth round, when I started coming on a little stronger, um, I was still trying to conserve my energy just in case I went for a finish and wasn't successful because he's a tough kid, you know. Um, I just don't want to get to the point where, like, that flying knee after I landed it and he hit the ground, I hopped on him, and, you know, I wanted to get the finish, but at the same time, I don't want to. I didn't want to get into a grappling exchange because my grappling is good, and I know my positions and stuff, and I wasn't worried about getting subbed, but I just don't want to put it anywhere he's kind of comfortable. I'd rather, I'd rather have him be as frustrated and uncomfortable as possible. That's, the you know, the point of fighting. You want to get them uncomfortable. So, you know, I wish I could have got the finish, but, you know, I was trying to keep that line of, you know, conserving a little bit of energy as well as, you know, trying to, you know, finish the fight. You said to me just a minute ago there, next time. Yeah next time because I think the initial reaction there is we should see a rematch and there's a massive cage Royce card coming up next year in April in Paddy's real hometown of Liverpool oh, yeah. it's going to be a 10,000 fans there in the arena the echo yeah. arguably you know a I wouldn't say box office but a huge selling fight yeah. between you and Paddy does yeah. that make sense right now oh of course man uh so I, I want to have a rematch with anybody anytime anywhere you know I've I'd fight him right here, right now. I mean, not not because of, you know of any reason of hostility, but yeah. I'm just I just love to fight. So for sure, man, if they would give me that fight, I'll sign that shit <laughs> right now. You know, I, I honestly just want to fight. You know, I uh, so I'm just you know if they give me that uh, opportunity, I'll take it. But I, you know, it's up to Patty because he's the belt holder. You know, mm. but I think that was a close enough fight to uh, you know you know give me another shot at it. And last thing, is it frustrating not going home, going back to the United States of America without that championship belt? Oh yeah, of course. You know, in my mind. All the way leading up to this, I had that belt in my mind. You know, mind, body, soul, everything I had, I gave it for this fight, and I thought I was going to walk away with that belt. So it is frustrating. Julian, a fantastic fight. I really do hope we get to see that rematch, yes. whether it's in Liverpool or somewhere else. It was an amazing fight. So thanks, thanks for your time, it. man. And Thank hopefully you. see you soon as yes, well. Yes. Cheers.